BYU Brigham Young University in Utah making a major announcement last week that they have removed homosexual behavior from their ban uh, in the honor code, the honor code of conduct. What in the world is going on? Why would they do this? And where do things go from here? We're going to break it all down, guys. But really quick first, could you do me a huge favor? Could you give this video a like for me? Kick it, punch it, headbutt it, elbow it, drop kick it. I don't care what you have to do. Just get that like button hit for me. Share this video across all of your platforms. Subscribe here if you are new. And guys, most importantly, sponsor me here at the channel for $5 a month. You could do so by going over to Patreon at patreon.com slash conservative truth. Link can be found down below in the description. Your support, your donations help to offset the demonetization of my videos because YouTube hates conservative Christian content creators like myself. They want me completely gone and banned off this platform altogether. They're shadow banning me, guys. They're not getting all the alerts out to you when I post new videos. Now, that's why I haven't even been stressing to hit the bell because people who hit the bell still aren't getting the notifications, even if they select all the notifications. So that is a real pain for me to have to deal with. Also, guys, they're burying me in the algorithms and the search results. It's just terrible. So your support sends a clear message that you're not going to let YouTube silence your favorite content creators like myself because I know that I'm one of your favorite YouTubers. And if I'm not, then I definitely should be. Some other perks, if you're on Patreon, guys, if you support me here on YouTube for $5 a month, you're going to get all the bonus content, all the podcasts and other videos that I do where I talk more about sensitive information and we do it more in long form as well. There's good stuff up there right now. I encourage you to go over there and check it out right now. Thank you guys in advance so much for all of your support. But like I said, BYU, they removed homosexual behavior uh, from the honor code, no longer there. So does this mean that, you know, homosexual couples, LGBT couples there at BYU can go ahead and display affection to each other while on campus? I mean, you know, remember, you know, this rule was specifically in there because, you know, students were expected to follow this code if they wanted to attend class there, if they wanted to graduate uh, on and off campus. Well, according to reports, it's being said this is going to be kind of done on a case-by-case -case basis and that BYU wanted to kind of line themselves up with the Mormon church because, as we know, the Mormon church has been more accepting of LGBT. They've been more LGBT inclusive, and that's looking like what BYU is trying to do as well. Now, according to the report, it said that students who are in homosexual relationships, LGBT couples, whatever they are, they're going to be meeting with the Honor Code Office to discuss this on a case-by-case -case basis. So I guess the Honor Code Office is going to decide what types of behavior can actually be shown. So they're not saying that they've completely eliminated, although they have because they've taken it out of the code. It's no longer viewed upon uh, as you know inappropriate behavior. It's gone. So this is very concerning to see this happening here, guys. BYU, more and more though, more and more, not just universities, but other companies are bowing down to the LGBT agenda. And I don't think this is going to slow down anytime soon. We know we're in the last days. Jesus Christ is coming back soon. They're calling evil good and good evil. They are compromising for the truth. And that's never a good thing. Guys, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. I'll put some more information on this down below in the description as well. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I will talk with you soon.